Hello everybody, uh, Champions Cup 44, I'm Dimmy G. Um, this is the game between Mankeys, uh, Necromantic and Besters. So, Mankeys came through the high elves in the first round against Zin. 2-0 uh, win, convincing, like pretty much smashed it. Um, the Rats, Besters came through Lizards uh, with a guy, Zulufu, Zufulu. Yeah, Super Wolf. Super Wolf is on the team. So, yeah, we'll start with the Necromantic. So, uh, we've got Mankis. He's got DP. Uh, he's got Tackle Mighty Blow. Uh, he's got a Guard Stand Firm White. A Block Guard. Two Block Guard Flesh Golems. He's got a Strength Fork Guard Zombie. Uh, a Wrestle Ghoul. Uh, he's got a Natty. A Natty uh, one, Natural One Turner, I should say. Uh, for the benefit of people who don't know what a Natty is. means he can score like in one turn naturally uh it's got um two rookies it's got a wrestle zombie it's got a tackle mighty blow movement up a lot of questions about the movement up i i, I don't i think it's all right i don't hate it i think it's okay um and then it's got a blood sure hands goal with leader leader's interesting but i quite like that as well keeps the tree v down so it's got two re-rolls that will go up to three when he comes on the pitch uh, versus the rats, uh, Bester's rats. Bester's like did a like a really rowdy two turn against the lizards. So we'll see if he does a really rowdy two turn. Um, this is Skitter. So he's got stab, prehensile tail, and movement nine. He's a gutter runner basically. Um, he was missing a gutter runner to be fair. So one, two. Oh, he's got he's got all four gutter runners this game. I, I think he was missing a gutter runner last game. Uh, so he's got four gutter runners. Uh, he's got a blodge. Step Fend, Bloodstep Agi, which is disgusting. He's got a rookie, and he's got a big hand Bloodstep Sure Hand. So like he skills his gutters the same way, which is something we don't see a lot uh, from Chalice coaches. There's normally wrestle, there's normally tackle, there's normally horns if doubles, uh, guard that sort of stuff. Two uh, two heads. Uh, so he's got mighty blow tackle. Um, I was gonna say blitz up. It's a storm vermin uh, tackle block guy. Wrestle guy, wrestle guy with horns. I really like this guy. Wrestle guy with horns, and uh, he's got a blitz on storm vermin on the bench. Uh, so he, yeah, the massive thing with the rats is they have a wizard, right? The rats have wizards. Um, they've also got the fame, surprisingly. Um, so the where are we? Blitz, frenzy, trap, dodge. Chose to kick. So Mankeys won the toss, and he decided to kick to the rats. Hello, Hellboy. Hello, Zakara. Natty. Yeah, Bas Vegas. Yeah. How is the best part of the team? Vestas is world class. Mank is strong, but is he at Vestas level? Do you think Vestas is world class? Do you, do you honestly think that? I don't know. Not from the first game I saw. Not from the first game I saw. Maybe he had an off day. Oh, at tabletop he is. Okay. Uh, he's a <laughs> he's a he's a bit of a rowdy guy. He just likes the two turn, um, which I don't think is a amazing strategy. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You missed round one. Uh, it's on YouTube. So for anyone uh, who doesn't know, I am uploading all these replays to YouTube, oh, no. and um, they are on my channel. Hello, mate. <laughs> Right. You need knowledge. You need knowledge. You need knowledge. Ah, okay. Because there's some new cards that I'll, I'll just teach you if you want to come. Parallel park too. So I can see your car. It's slightly on the curve, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is slightly on the slightly curve. Slightly on the curve. It is. Uh, right. So. He sent this rat down here. Are you going to say hello to us? I said hello. Not hello. really. Hello. How was your day? How uh, are you? Oh, how, how was your day? Yeah. How was your day? I got in a dip. Oh, what's that? It's a reverse of Uno. Oh, not the horrible Uno. It's not. It's, it's not a reverse of Uno. Silly it's, me. Uh, I don't know that Uno. You have to play it. We will do one day. Not one day. When? Maybe later today. Later today? <laughs> maybe, maybe, we'll see. Okay. Right, so Mankeys is. No idea, right. He's just basing up knowledge here, he's got a stand firm. Oh, game. nice. Didn't anybody buy you that? Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. I bought it. 
Oh, you bought it. Okay. Oh, okay. I forgot about it. So, ball's nice and deep on the gut runner. He's got Skitza in midfield. I don't know what this is about. So, he's... Is he blitzed yet? He's, oh, and the tackle mighty blow is going to hit this guy here. So, he has got him blitzing backwards, which is interesting. <clears throat> I don't know if I'd be bothered about this route, honestly. I don't no, know. Can't, please calm down. I don't know if I'd be. I, I'd be blitzing right, something else, I think. Because like, you don't care if this rat's here, honestly. So he's bringing it up to the halfway line. And uh, gets a 2D on a zombie. Oh, nice. Gets a KO on the zombie. And that one skips in. Ooh. And if he ever comes across, across the that skits and will just go. Alright, so it's blitzing the but dirty player. And if you get the And it's side, a one D. This is a dirty player with a one D. You can flip it to the flip side. And uh and rolls a skull, across, that's the re roll. Can I tell you the other card? The other card is where you can and then fails the dodge you, with the get, horns wrestle if, and gets him. Uh, if you get a card that looks like you can flip it, if you play that one, you flip it to the flip side. Oh, okay. And you can get that five plus and that. that, that. Cool. Cool. Thanks. Right, so there's another KO. So hang on, right? Let's have a quick recap on this one. So we've got. Two K of rats, we've got the horns uh, rat and we've got the rookie lino rat KO. There is a KO on the I, I don't know what that one D blitz was all about. That that was just a bit weird and a bit strange. Uh I guess like blitzing the dirty player in itself is fine because obviously the dirty player is one of the bigger threats to the uh, Skaven team. Um there's no bribes in play. Uh so he's keeping that werewolf as a safety. Hey, he's an Orion. <clears throat> and that is a pow on the tackle mighty blow. And that is a one in nine for the strength zombie who uh, eats a stun. Hello, Anorian. Thank you very much for the raid, dude. This is um, Besters versus a Mankids. Uh, so, from the kitchen in Sweden to the kitchen in the UK, how's it going, mate? What are you playing? You playing the lizards or are you playing the pro elves? Uh, so, yeah, it's just going to run. All the way around. Uh, it did kind of leave this open. I don't think he's that bothered, to be honest. It's like about leaving it open. I mean, with the wizard, this is different, right? It's a different strategy with the wizard because uh, the wizards, if you score early with the rats, it's it's less, it's not as bad with the wizard. Um, so I'm trying to say, yeah. And he's got it caged up here. I don't know, like if he's going to go for like a turn four score or something like that. Does get the KO on the 1D there. That is a beautiful... Uh, gets a stun. And then he's blitzing the, the one-turner. Who doesn't have block... Oh, my days! Uh, so he's actually just cast Mankis' one-turner. And it's into non-regen. So <laughs> he's just basic. Uh, what is that wolf? Um, I don't know. I didn't see a wolf. Did any of you guys see a wolf? I didn't, I didn't see a wolf. <laughs> just a 1D power into Kaz non-regen. Wow, that is uh, that is quite hilarious. That's a lot of TV as well. That's a lot of TV right there. And suddenly this game looks very much nice. Uh, very much more in the favour of the rats. With the wizard, the four... Well, he's got five gutter runners effectively. And uh, the two stuns here were just huge as well. Like, there's not much left for the Necro, and they're all on the wrong side of the ball. So he's going to blitz uh, Skitter, because he doesn't have sidestep more than anything. Skitter's dead! Wow. Well, that's that's at least uh, something for Mankeys, right? And he's just going to go and base up the ball. No guard. See, if this was guard, this would be, like, so strong. <laughs> the movement there. 
and then concede one one dice in the GG. I'd throw. Yeah, so he just bangs it in. This is what he did like last game. I mean, turn four, right? Last game he did it in turn two, so I was a little bit more uh, weirded out by the uh, the turn two. Like turn four with the wizard is a legitimate strategy. Like it is a legitimate strategy. Just try and get the ball in give him a shorter drive i mean like the shorter drive isn't as bad for nick well it's worse now that the wolf's out but it's not as bad for necromantic as it is for someone like dwarves uh who are like low movement orcs um but yeah so like if you're man kids you're probably thinking right two one grinds here we go um but the wizard is obviously a massive concern whereas i don't i don't think that the rats had a wizard in the last one if anything i think um they were pretty even on TV in the last one. But yeah, that, that werewolf not being on the pitch. I think he's still at 11. Uh, he had two bench. So the ghoul comes on. Both ghouls come on, actually. I don't know if the rest of the ghoul was on there. No, not yet. I'll find it later. Uh, so he's got the stand firmer on here. Uh, pretty aggressive setup. Pretty standard setup, to be fair, I'd say. No wolf, I'm gone. See you later. <laughs> so extra reroll for both coaches. Puts them on four rerolls for the half. Obviously, this half doesn't matter too much about the number of rerolls. Touchback. Goes for the wrestle goal, I guess, because he doesn't want to carry on this guy in case he gets lightning bolted. Which is, uh, it's a thing. But the the, the <laughs> there is one major drawback from having wrestle on your ball carrier, and that is the fact that, like any kind of block. Is probably going to bring him down. Especially if he's blitzing with any kind of tackle. Which makes, like, the, the the other thing is as well. He's gone for block on all his gutter runners. He hasn't got a wrestle gutter runner. And it won't matter so much now. Because he's got, he's got the ball on wrestle. So just taking some hits. Uh, the, only, the only injury so far to the rats is a dead uh, skitter. Which is quite funny. Um... Six of Guardian. Let's see how rowdy Bestas is. Let's see if uh, I don't see him going for this. This this game is like he just needs to sit on that wizard all game. I think. Just and he's gonna try and claw hit the tackle mighty blow, which is fair enough. Does get the pow, so he can now tuck that wolf in. Gets the armor break as well, and he drops him in behind. Wrestle horns, going for the wrestle, gets the knockdown, frees up this rat on the ground, which just gives him more bodies in front of the ball. Is he going to stand him up and take the 2D? Spip. And then just screen off, yeah. He's keeping these guys two apart so you can't double base. Oh, there's the dub skull. There's the pal. Oh my god. No. No. Oh my god. It's just a skillless lime rat killing a block guard's flesh golem. And that that is insane. This this is just insane, isn't it? Like he's removed like two of his best players. Like he's like the, the natty one turn being gone is just insane. On a 1D pal. Was this anything evil? Was this, this was just badly hurt, right? Oh no, he's movement bust. Oh my god, I didn't even see that he's actually move bust. He move bust the werewolf. <laughs> so it's no longer a natural one turner. So if somehow, some way, uh, man kids can get the 2 1 grind done, uh, he's obviously going to be missing the werewolf for the next game anyway, but even when he comes back he's, he's no longer an, an atty. The favoured wing <laughs> swinging back and forth like a pendulum. I mean, with the wizard, like, I'd still put it like up to the right. I mean, the fact that he's got a four turn drive. I mean, he's only got three turns after this, but I. it's getting close. It's, I, I mean, without the wizard, I'd I'd still say Necro, but with the wizard, I'd, I'd probably say the rats, to be fair. Uh, so it's just running back. And, like, with all these three being sidestepped, they're so annoying to get past. He has got a tackle mighty blow. 
But you are power fishing, like, like a 5 plus. So it's just going to elf screen. Add you guy in there. Right here. Right here. I guess this is the blitz. And the old horns wrestle rat is doing absolute work. Let's get knocked down the armor break. Yeah. Um, like this guy's fend as well, which is irritating if you don't get the the knockback. So yeah, Mankey's looking to switch sides. <clears throat> Although he doesn't really have the movement, does he? He doesn't really have the movement. I mean, this guy stands up, you hit this guy. This guy is still holding it down somewhat. He can get through here. He needs to get this down firm up and up here. Um, needs to bring this guy over. But this is only like, we're down now to two turns. And he's got like three sidestep gutter runners, which are just a nightmare to get past. Did he, he did not want the hit for some people to fix that? Yeah, it was a bit surprising to be fair. Changed the strategy. <coughs> yeah, fresh golem shop is to take hits. Well, he, he only took one. Uh, wow, well, he, he did eat the dub skulls. But like, rats are still on free rerolls as well. Like. Dun, dun. There's the werewolf. Oh, nice. Right, okay. Nice one. Thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, we're just doing some challenge replays today. We watched uh, Solmir versus uh, No Lysias uh, just before this. Ball base GG. Absolutely, is with tackle as well, uh, which is something of note. And there's no real where. There's no real place to go, is there? Like, like, he's just left with zombies. He's got, like, cheap, crappy zombies. Like, um, without the flesh golem, this white's tied up on this end. I don't know if he's got enough time to switch sides again. This side, like, if he gets a pow here, then there's maybe something there. He's, he's got a dodge off tackle here as well. I don't know how he's going to get this in range. It does hit a power on the sidestep. Fend, Fend being massive there as well. Oh, he fails the geofire. Alright, and then how the hell do you protect this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, this is not going to be easily protected. Oh. Ruby, go away. Go away then. And he's completely shut him down just with these, uh, yeah, one missing flesh column is massive. Like, yeah, hello, Lysistrata. Uh, it's absolutely massive. Oh, hey, there's a failed GFI. He makes it. So what's he doing... Is he blitz him with the edge? One, two, three. Yeah, and here's the wrestle. This is why... Obviously, I understand with the wizard and stuff why he's carrying on the wrestle, but... Yeah, it's... Uh, it's a sad state of affairs for Mankis. Absolutely been banged on by this like like the rat team is just literally like three gutter runners and some <laughs> the tackle mighty blow and that's it. There's the dub skulls. Is this guy even in range? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not even in range. And that's the fend, isn't it? If he if he didn't have fend, he could have followed that up and he would have been in range. So what's he doing here? I think mean, he's just setting up the foul or something. No, he can't. Oh, he's setting up a one. He's setting up a chain here. I don't know how he gets it. 
So push. Push. Ah, here we go. This is genius. Yeah, yeah. Push him here. Push him here. Dodge out and blitz him forwards. And he gets the power. That's really unlucky. That's a great play from Mankis, like, to be fair. Great play from Mankis. Just didn't get the dice, but very nice. Hello, Giraffe. But yeah, really nice attempt there. I don't know how you get the ball after that. I mean, what? You got a 4 plus. 3 plus with re roll into a 3 plus or well, 4 plus pick up into another 3 plus dodge. He tried it though, he tried it. Yeah, it was decent, wasn't it? I didn't like, I, I was just like, oh, like, but yeah, it, it was there and he nearly got it. Just didn't quite have the dice. But yeah, he did Kazza right on the way there. Yeah, fight. I mean, it's unlikely, Helemies, but. At least he gave himself the chance. Like, how many people wouldn't even bother? Like, they wouldn't even see it and just, like, just end the turn. They just try and bang things and end the turn. But, like, the fact that he tried to get it in there was pretty nice. But that is, that is, this is horrible. <laughs> this is horrible. I wonder how much TV that is. That's, like, at least 200, 300 TV. And the wizard, the wizard's still in play. And the wizard's uh, still in play as well, so... It's not ideal for Mankis. Like, what you want to do is get that wizard out. Like, even if you don't score, you want to get the wizard out. And not only did he not score, he didn't get the wizard out. So that's it's like a, it's a really great half for Bestas, basically. Amazing half. Got the score. Kept the wizards. Removed the one, one turner, and he also removed the flesh golem. He's lost like Skitter, yeah, but he's still got four gutter runners on the pitch, and he lost the Lino. I think he might even still be at 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. He's still at 11 players as well, which is pretty insane. Uh, pretty insane. Considering he's only got one Mighty Blow player himself, and he's playing against, like, a Core Mighty... Well, obviously, Core Mighty doesn't matter so much in this one, but he's got uh, two Mighty Blows and a DP that he's playing against. Yeah, so he's not messing about. He's just carrying on the, uh, the, the Blodger this time. It's so harsh, like the wizard just really throws a spanner in the works on like who you want to carry on and stuff. Does get the armor break on the uh, the mighty blow. It's somewhat some sort of a screen, but like you can already see that he's he's kind of stretched. So it's just gonna hit the strength four zombie with the horns. The horns like as well is so nice against the strength. He's not following that. Oh my god. He does regen. So the one player... He does regen. That's three straight deaths. Well, I say straight deaths. That's including uh, Skitter. But it's like a dead... I mean, the move bust is basically dead on that werewolf anyway. Because... Unless he... Uh, he won't be back for next round at least. And then... The dead uh, flesh column's just crazy. And it, again, it's another strength piece gone, right? It's a strength guard piece gone. There's a Kaz, right. So, he's now chipped the rats down to 10. The rats are still up. The rats, it's 10 versus 9. It's literally 10 versus 9. Alright, so Blitz in the DP. This is like really comfortable for Besters at the moment. I guess it's early in the drive yet anyway. It's going to take another like hit on this Flesh Golem. Like literally... Just rolling pals. <laughs> rolling pals. Not dead. Not dead. That is something at least. Yeah, it's a great play, but like, you think how much TV he's got, like, sat out on this bench. Like, that werewolf must be, like, 200-something. The Flesh Golem must be, like, close to 200. That guy is, like, at least, well, it's a double land on strength up, an extra 80. So he's, like, 120 TV. Like, I think, I think there might even be more TV on the pitch for the Skaven than there is for the, for the Necromantic. It's, um, it's close, it's close. 
But yeah, like Mankis has like definitely just been banged on super hard. And the wizard, the wizard is just the problem, right? The wizard is the issue. Yeah, 260 for that werewolf. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh, it covers the wizard. <laughs> it's a Kaz. It's a Kaz. Why wouldn't it be a Kaz? He's only badly hurt. But there's no, like, there's no ball carrier. See, this is why it would have been, like... This is why he was carrying on the wrestle in the first half. But then, obviously, the wrestle had problems. This looks like a rat ball, to be fair. Like, it's... It's a dodge through tackle. And there we go. There's the ball. And the rats don't even need to score. Yeah, it never rains, but it pours. Yeah, this is spiraling massively out of control. <coughs> this is the thing with rats as well. Like they, they, they can just if the rats start chipping your players and you're not chipping rats, like it is horrible, horrible. And like he doesn't even need to score, does he? He can just he can just turtle this up. And the thing is, is there's uh there's only one tackle left. There is wrestle. He's got one tackle, one wrestle left. But he's surrounded by gutter runners. <laughs> Blood step gutter runners as well. Not just any gutter runners. Rats are lovely. Yeah, you can say that. I didn't I didn't say that, but you can say that. How are you doing, Crystal, as well, mate? I, I saw you earlier. I, I don't think I said hi, but hello. So, yeah. And the problem is, it's like... Where are we? We got like five. We got five turns left. So Mankis is gonna be. He's gonna have to get desperate. Do you know what I mean? He's gonna have to make some desperate plays that aren't necessarily the best. Just to, he's got to get this ball back. Right? He's got to get this ball back. And like these gut runners can just run away for days. It's so easy. So ridiculously easy. He's just gonna punch the wolf. And then he's going to cage in here by the looks of it. And the thing is, is as well, like with the sidestep, he can actually afford to chuck the gutter runners out on the side. Like you don't have to worry about the frenzy surfs and stuff. So like, it's so, it's so annoying. Like they're, they're not like your, they're not your normal gutter runners. Like they're not the, the normal gutter runners you see. Like you normally see like wrestle and tackle and like I say, two heads and all that stuff. But he's just gone blood step on all of them. And like... Like, on defense, like, when the rats are defending, it's, like, solid, right? Because they just park them in the front and, uh, like, unless you're rolling powers and removing them, uh, they're not going anywhere and you can't get around them. So, like, o defensively, they're amazing. Offensively, they're not, they're not great. Um... I mean, obviously, they're, they're cool to carry the ball and stuff, but they're not, like, outside of carrying the ball, they don't really, like, have the stuff they need. But I guess I guess you look at the rat team, and it's a much different place. It's like a different place, though. Instead of going for the ball sack all the time, you're just basically screening and saying, break the screen, break the screen. And I, I guess that's more frustrating to play against than someone just going nuts for your ball sack every time. Yeah, he's going to have to make a catastrophic... There's going to have to be some horrendous dice or, like you say, a catastrophic mistake. There's, I mean, the, 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 the Necromantic have got three turns to get the ball back and to, uh, to score. And they've got... I don't know what they're at now. They're at eight players. See, this seems like leaving this to. I, I know, I know, like why he's done it. But if that's if that's a snake, if that's a snake, then like he's just in. Like this guy could have been in here, and then he could have done the three plus and rounds. I guess then this guy could have come in from here. I, I guess it's picking, it's picking at nothing really. But just yeah, this. I mean, this guy. This isn't. This isn't safe at all. Just pushed him onto the ball. He's just chain pushed him onto the ball. This was yeah. This wasn't safe at all. Doesn't use the reroll. I guess he's gonna. Yeah, he's got the guard in now, so he dodges and hits with tackle. 
Yeah, this was this wasn't a great turn from Bester's. It should have been one more square back, at least, so the chain push wasn't there. And then he <laughs> just one in noise to dodge anyway, so it literally doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. And to be fair, right, I think the sidestep, when he took the hit here, the sidestep should have been straight back, I think. Or, I guess it's the werewolf he's avoiding. Ah, the wrestle as well. Ah, okay. No, 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 the sidestep's fine. Sidestep's fine. Because I guess you're avoiding the wrestle. And the wrestle can the wrestle can hit either of these really comfortably. So yeah, I guess that is the right side step. And he's off. He's gone. If the golem stands, that boy's in the open. Yeah, like the golem could have just like there was a couple of ways of doing that. Like I, he did the chain push, but he could have just knocked down that rat and then blitz through. But the the chain push allowed him to put guard on the ball, regardless of where he sidestepped. And then he had the wrestle and he had the tackle dodge, so it was, it was pretty nice. <clears throat> but yeah, I think there was definitely a bit of an error. I mean, it's hard to say, right? Because he could have, he could have either like dropped all the way back into like this corner, Good afternoon. or he could have dropped back like an extra square. Hello, Ali. Good job. Cheers, mate. Thank you. And uh, <clears throat> right, so what's this scoring threat? This is the scoring threat. I don't, he's got to go this way, hasn't he? So it's a 5 plus, 4 plus, 3 plus. Made the 5. Made the 4, made the 3. Oh, and he doesn't get him. I mean, to be fair, like, you could argue that that shouldn't have been left on either. To be fair. Like, it's, it's, like, again, it's clutching the straws. It's not really... It's not really like horrific, but I mean, it it could have been avoided. I guess he wanted him in range to score, so it's. Oh, he got pushed in there, so he's been pushed into range. So he, he won't be, yeah, maybe he just wanted to be in range. It's a little bit sloppy, like it's a little bit sloppy. It's not. I mean, but it's the only way he loses the game, right? So, uh, like, the, it could have been a bit tidier. This guy's, yeah, well, I think we're done here anyway, because this guy would have to blitz, and then there's no way to recover it and throw it to this guy. So, yeah, interesting. Like, I like you definitely got to feel hard done by if you make it, but by no means, like, best of did all right. Best of did all right. So, he's just covering the one, two, three. But yeah, I'd, I'd definitely feel hard done by uh, if I was, if I was making I'd definitely feel hard done by. Foul in there. GG. <clears throat> like the one D, the one D Kaz on the, uh, the one D Kaz on the the werewolf. Like non regen was like huge. Like just after we took the one D with the gutter runner. Like I don't, I don't think he even had a reroll to be honest. Oh, he's trying to level the, the, the rookie. Does he level? He doesn't level, he just gets some free SPP. And he fails it. Ah! And he didn't do the bobble box. If he'd done the bobble box, he might have won that 2-0. <laughs> Obviously he doesn't watch Rick Reckless play Blood Pool. Uh, so yeah, congratulations, besters. Commiserations, mankeys. That's a brilliant team that we've seen. Um, go out. Look at that. 50 blocks to 29. I guess this might be the frenzy thing where it shows... Like, more than what it actually was. It doesn't feel that way. But, yeah, 50 blocks of 29, and there was, like, three Kaz. Like, two that were just, like, massive. Uh, versus, like, a line rat. Oh, obviously, they took out skill and stuff, but... Yeah, interesting one, that one. Interesting. Like, I think... I think Mankey's played pretty solid. Like, he had adversity and stuff. I think Bestas did pretty... Uh, Bestas definitely played better in that one than he did against the Lizards. But um, there was still a couple of, like... 
little bits there, like leaving the chain push on for the flesh golem to base and uh, doing the 1D with the gutter runner and stuff like that. Like, just little things that nag at me a little bit. But yeah, overall, he, he got the job done and uh, he's going to be marching on.